is no doubt having an impact on local gardens also, but it's time to start thinking about fall planting. Here are some seasonal tips from our Weekend Gardener. Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. So, it's fall, finally. We've been waiting a long time for fall. The days are still warmish, but the nights are just beautiful. Uh, a good indicator that it's time to plant again. And this is the time of the year that we plant uh, quite a few different types of herbs that need to be planted right now. A good example of that is uh, parsley. We don't do very well with it. We don't get a lot of size out of it by planting it in the spring. But for growth all winter long and a great big old plant in the spring that we can use until it begins to warm up, uh, this is a good time to be planting. This is Italian parsley right here. One of the, um, the beauties about uh, parsley and uh, cilantro, the Mexican herb coriander, uh, is that when they flower in the spring, they're the first thing to attract beneficial insects. So even if you don't eat these herbs, uh, planting them will be uh, very beneficial in your vegetable garden or even in your flower garden. Here's another couple of good butterfly plants. This is fennel. This is the bronze fennel right here, and look at that color. This grows into a real beauty in the garden, and this is when you plant this too. Give it a little space, uh, maybe um, 18 inches apart or so. They get quite large. And then here is the typical uh, green fennel right here. These also attract butterflies, and specifically the swallowtail uh, goes to these. So you'll have all your fennel that you need when these bulbs begin to form, and you'll also be able to attract um, many more butterflies to the garden when you do something like that. Now, one of the things I would like to uh, encourage you to plant would be uh, peppermint or spearmint. Um, I like peppermint because it uh, helps your tummy when it feels bad, especially for the kids. Uh, but it's uh, going to be there next summer when you really want some tea from your garden. So this is one of the tea herbs, and it has those medicinal qualities uh, to it also. And don't forget, you can make ground covers out of herbs, like this pennyroyal right here. This can be very toxic to children, adults, and pets, but as a ground cover in a limited area, this is a real beauty. For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgool. Happy gardening.